So Blizzard, they cut some corners when it came to making the models for Warcraft 3. And the classic got the stiff, I think, because we got two models, the female Death Knight and the female Demon Hunter. And they're only female in the sense that they have some lipstick slapped on them and some eyeliner and eyelashes. Case in point. It's basically Arthas with some eyeliner and purple lipstick. And for the female Demon Hunter, you've got the blue lipstick on Illidan, essentially. So, if you were ever attracted to Illidan a little bit, well, and you weren't too sure about it, now you've got your, uh, your chance. So, I wanted to take a look at a fan-made model, which is essentially an improvement of the original one that we got from Blizzard. So, there's the before. There's the after. We're going to move this over. This is the improved female demon hunter by Hi Hi. So the night elf hero from Blizzard has been adapted to have a smoother face, more rounded boobs, a more popping bracer, which I think will definitely work for identification for an RTS aspect, isometric looking down. You can identify the character more quickly. And, of course, the skirt, which has been slightly improved, but to be honest, still clips all the time. So they say they reworked the face geometry to resemble her reforged counterpart better. Some torso tweaks, Demon Hunter's wristbands to make team color pop stronger, and somewhat fix the clipping of her shorts on her skirt. There's a different portrait camera angle, which is supposed to improve, but I can't test that in this situation. And they tweak the braids just a little bit to make the gap between her neck and the back of the head less noticeable. So we'll take a look. This is the new and improved one, as you can see here. And to the right, we have the original. So you can sort of take a little look at the animation details here. See that? Oh, I just got the stand there. And they'll do all these little animations. They have the same skeleton as the original Illidan. So, Demon Hunter model. But the texture has been wrapped around the skin to look differently. That's how you've got this. So, it still plays like Illidan. The spells, the attacks, etc. are the same. The skirt animation looks better on the spin, I would say. But if you look at some of these you'll see the uh, the skirt gets clipped by the leg here. And I don't think there's a way to really deal with that unless you properly revamp the model entirely. But I think you can let it go a little bit if you're going to get too pedantic. But what I do like, we have the pros. There's a smoother face. So she's looking far less angry and demonic. But at the same time, is that a pro? Because if you were a female demon hunter, and the things you would have gone through to be a female demon hunter, wouldn't you be looking pretty pissed? So, they kind of cancel each other out. The problem with the smooth face is whilst it is better around the cheeks, the nose is too low to the lips, which makes her look like she's pouting in a very weird manner. So, unless you're not paying too much attention to the direction of the middle of her face, where her nose is, it doesn't, it's not too bad if you just sort of like take a, gre a brief look. But I think if you stare at it, yeah, I think there could be some improvements here in general. Because it's a little bit bland, whereas at least with the blue lipstick and the angry cheekbones, she's got some personality there, that sassy lady on the right hand side. So, the pros is that on the left hand side, the new one. She's more feminine, but the negative to that is she's less funny. Now, you might think that's... <laughs> but for me, I sometimes I like some jank. You might know I like jank. So, I, I, I always look forward to getting the female Death Knight or the female Demon Hunter when I'm playing 4 versus 4 RT, because they just make me laugh. Not necessarily for the right reasons, but it's still entertaining. So... I kind of appreciate the jankness of it. But at the same time, I do would like some legit quality as well. So speaking of legit quality, she has rounded boobs now on the left hand side. 
so they're sort of more wrapped in because she's going to be fighting she's not going to want those popping out quite so much so she's going to need to keep those nice and tidy and tucked in so she can more accurately throw her blades around without cutting anything off but on the downside they're less like Lara Croft as you can see on the right of the screen which of course if you're old enough you will have a fondness for but the popping colors on the wristbands are very good because you can see on the right hand side they're a bit bland it's kind of more tapered bland sort of yellow but here the whole wristbands are like really vibrantly red to indicate that that clearly hero belongs to you so little things like that i think i wish they did a bit more with reforged because i think they were struggling with that originally when they did the reforged models i know this is a standard definition model that's what you call these standard definition whereas the reforged are hd those are the ones that look completely different and uh when they originally did the hd models a lot of the complaints that came from the community were complaints talking about how the models they looked fine for what they were in the sense of like in a video game but not necessarily in warcraft 3 as an rts isometric top down i'm in a big battle i have 50 units i need to identify you quickly you could not do that with the reforged models they did somewhat improve it over time by making certain armor pads and leg plates sort of pop with more color but they never quite got there in my opinion so it was still always a blend of gray blur that sort of filled your screen and i couldn't reforge is still quite hard to identify even with the improvements to this day so do we like this do we want this could we have more of this this is what i wanted from reforged originally to be honest with you is I didn't want the models to look completely different in the HD sense where they've got a million polygons and lighting and situations going on there and sort of overly detailed. I love the original Warcraft 3 because so much was easily identifiable just from the silhouette. And the characters had massive personality despite an insane lack of polygons. They were able to bring out so much personality from each of the characters I mean, you guys have played Warcraft 3, right? You know how vibrant and amazing each and every single character that you play in the campaign is, right? <laughs> you will memorize them all. You probably know a lot of their voice lines. Like, a lot of it sticks out probably still in your memory to this day. Whereas, can you remember the Reforged one so easily? I probably bet you can't. And even that might even go for people that started off with Reforged. But, yeah. That is just basically Arthas with some lipstick and eyeliner and this is obviously on the right hand side Illidan with some blue lipstick I appreciate the fact that they even exist because it's made my life a bit more entertaining I would have loved so many more uh, models they don't all have to be female but I would have liked a female equivalent Dave wanted a female panda I want a female blade master because of <laughs> a blade master wearing lipstick and eyeliner would be brilliant of course, there's a female pit lord. That imagine what that would look like. We could have all of these equivalents. It'd be fantastic. However, I did want to show you a model that was created here by Tower, because if you look at Hive Workshop, they've got a lot of models, and these are like legitimately. I keep saying it, but what I wanted from Reforge, which is just the classic look, but with higher resolution. The textures are slightly more detailed. They're not like super detailed. You can still see it's got that kind of old janky kind of look, the texturing, but it still looks like Warcraft 3 and the personality is still there and you can easily identify this character. Absolutely stunning. She really does look absolutely amazing. And there's the animations to boot. So just to give you an idea, this is Illyria Windrunner. She's based on the Sylvanas Windrunner model, so they're all using the same model. This is what it looks like in the original Warcraft 3. Great for its time, but if you were doing a revamp of Warcraft 3, right, how would you do it? You take the classic models and just make them a little bit sharper, a little bit more detailed. If this is what you got in Reforged, would you be happy with this? I would be. 
I wouldn't be like, oh, it doesn't look like 2024 graphics. It's not the absolute super high fidelity that I was wanting. It looks like, why did they not just make it more like the original game? The original game was so revered. It's good for a fucking reason. So why go out of your way to make these super high detail models that no one can identify with properly? So you really get the idea just by me giving you this little demonstration of what fans can do for Blizzard. And what they have continuously done for Blizzard. So it's ironic because Blizzard was known for like basically taking other people's properties and polishing it and making it good. But these days, it kind of comes along more along the route of the fans actually taking Blizzard's property and then making it good. And this guy I like as well. So he's a more basic version because you see the legs and the arms aren't detailed very much at all. But they still got that classic vibe of a Blade Master. But a different look. So you could have different skins, different models. The detail really is in the face. So you don't have to go too crazy. But you can get that little bit more pop from your value on Classic. And that's basically all I really wanted to talk about here. Was just how little changes done by people that aren't even working for Blizzard. Can improve the game so much. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section about it. And uh, would you like to see more improvements to the other classic models that we've got? So female Death Knight. I've yet to see an improvement of before and after. So maybe we can message Hi Hi to do that and let, let us know. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Take care.